this is Katie Hutchinson, a learning coach for Greater Clark County Schools. Today I'm going to teach you how to embed a hyperlink into a Google Calendar that you've embedded into a website. We have a website, oh that's not the website, this is where actually I learned how to do this, which I will reference in my description. This is a website I have um, with some teachers called Mating Students Need with Tech, and if you go to the calendar here, I have a Google Calendar embedded. So let's say we do this thing called Teaching Tuesdays here at Greater Clark, and let's say on Tuesday, I had a Teaching Tuesday about coding. And whether I want my teachers to mm -hmm. see something before the event happens, or whether I want to put something like a just in case you missed it, you could post um, pictures that of some of events that have happened. You can post links to pictures or links to content, or you could use this in your classroom and have students, when you click on it, have students go to a website that could help with flipping your classroom and things like that. So this is my calendar. Here's my Teaching Tuesday. So I'm gonna go back here to December 2nd and I'm going to add an event. I'm gonna title it Teaching Tuesday Coding. And I want this on my Teaching Tuesdays calendar. And in the description, this is where you're going to do the hyperlink. So I'm going to say click, and I'm going to leave that blank because I want to put here um, for, let's see how many blanks I'll leave, one, two, three, for um, a, for link. Um, for info about, oh, actually it's going to be a blog post, so let's do this. Click for blog about coding. And I found on this website, this is how you do this. This is from, his name's down here. And this is the magical code, which is fitting because we just learned about coding this week with our code, that you need to make it a hyperlink. So I'm going to copy this. Right click copy and I'm going to take it to my calendar and I'm going to post it here. Right click paste. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is display text what is what you what you want the word then for them to click on. So I'm going to put here with a capital H and then I'm going to go grab what it is I want them to go to. So this is I want to take them to Melissa Stewart's blog is coding good for literacy? What she has resources down here. It's a, she did a fabulous job of her blog for this teaching through technology Wednesday. So I'm going to Control C or right click, copy that, and I'm going to come back to my calendar event and I'm going to replace just the URL with the hyperlink. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to reload my page. And there it is. Now I click on it. It says click here and I click and bam, interactive as soon as it loads, it's thinking about it. It wants to take us there. But there it is. And that's how you make a Google Calendar um, interactive. And I have the directions written out for you at the bottom of this post in the description section. And Thank you very much for watching.